One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I'm up at my place in beautiful Stevensville, Montana, and I have this awesome 1978 Mercury Grand Marquis Colo Colony Park. I want to say Colonial Park. Colony Park station wagon. Beautiful. It's a 1978. It's got the big 460 in it, baby. This was the last year's, I think this and maybe 79. And it's Grizz Pride. They've got a, a lot of hometown pride for college sports up here. We don't got no um, NFL or MLB or any of the basketball or hockey or there's no big professional teams or anything in Montana. And so the college, the Grizz, Cats, or the Grizz and the Cats, that's the big teams up here. And this person was a fan. Uh, now all these stickers, I'm sure you could do some peeling, especially on the front, it come right off the bug guard, I know that. I'll give you the up close and all the way around in a second. It's just a quick walk around. And other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the review and drop down and show you underneath and all that. And check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. I've got all kinds of Trans Ams and stuff out here, like you wouldn't believe. I've got over 150 cars. There's four more lots just like this with cars, cars, cars everywhere. On the exterior, here we go. Underneath this car is nice and clean. You can see just a slight patina and everything from you know, the years. It's not rusted through anywhere. Clean as can be. Chrome is nice on it. There's a dent right there. And it's almost easier to show you by coming back here where you can see it. Uh, let's look under the sides and get that out of the way. Hydraulic lights, we can't get to go up and down. Now, by we can't get to go up and down, that means Samantha bought this at auction while I was away. She sent me pictures and a video. I was like, yeah, let's get it. And we got it. Beautiful. Not rusty anywhere. And in doing so, she checked the lights out. I didn't. I'll check them when I do the re uh, interior review here. And such. Um, let's look under the back to where we've seen it all. That's the only hole I've seen of such right behind the tires, of course. Nice and clean. Uh, we just washed it so there's spots everywhere. And I think that's your once around and everything. From here, let's go ahead and show you up close any dents, dings, damages, stuff like that. Showed you the major one. Other than that, it's been repainted, obviously. Little imperfections along the trim, little stupid things like that, little chips here and there on the trim because they painted the chrome or anodized or I think it was trim like that. Little chips. No big damage or anything, but little chips and stuff. There's a little scratch right there. Chips along the edge. Scratch right in there or a chip in the paint. Now I'm sure there's a little filler somewhere because you can see right here. I think they put some on that dent. Um, it's all straight and smooth looking. They ain't got much in it, but it's little there. A little scuff on the trim. A little corrosion under the paint starting right here. And I'll show you some more areas just like that. Chip. Chip. Around there. Little scuffs and slight dingage every once in a while. Just scuffs on this very lightly. Coming up in miscellaneous places. Little corrosionary type stuff under the paint right there. The weather stripping here is starting to get a little dated and worn and such. As are the window sweeps, as you can see there. It's got these paw prints and this on it. I didn't want to, I think you could get it off. I really do, especially with the heat iron, but I'm not going to take into it. Um, I'm going to leave it. I just drive the heck out of this thing. The roof looks good. Very good. Roof rack and everything tight and nice. A little right in here. And what it is, it's just like this where it gets a little bubble under the paint where there was a speck, some specks of dust or a little moisture in the gun or whatever and then it bubbles up over time and maybe this had a little piece getting in there, whatever. It's not through, it's just under the paint. Same as here. It does it on these seams sometimes. 
little chips and miscellaneous stuff. Now, that piece is still there, which is absolutely amazing. Some corrosionary spots starting in the bumper, as you can see, going all the way across it. It just look almost perfect. Look at that. Little scuffs that you can hardly see. Um, little spots around the plate, and the only bad spot on it starting is right there. So watch out, you'll poke yourself. Same thing right in here and right there. Right there, yep. How about these? These are looking good, but there's a couple bubble. Yeah, there's a little piece starting right there. And a little peel there. It's clean under here, though. Little spots under the tailgate is on the paint surface, you can see. Nothing rusted through anywhere. A couple spots of corrosion starting in there. And it's mostly going to happen around trim at edges and stuff like that. A little scratch. Scuffed up just a tad. Like I say, that beautiful couple scuffs in there. That roof is beautiful. And all the chrome stripes. Oh, the stainless strips. <laughs> Look great. Same thing here. Starting a little corrosion area along that seam. Just wasn't prepped correctly. And they lightly put a little filler in there, likely. And painted over it without being prepped correctly. A little chip in the light, or crack in the light there. This one looks good. That's a long ways. It's a long walk from here to there. That's all there is to say. And that sticker like this, sticker emblem is missing from the other side, like you may have seen that I didn't talk about, but it's gone. There's the holes for it and everything. Other than that, going down the sides is straight. The paint is nice. It's shiny. It's a good looking car. Um, there's that hole I was telling you about. Now these tires are Cooper's, Cooper Weathermasters, and they're in great condition, and they have likely, and they're little titties all over the side and everything. There's likely 80, 85% tread, but they're studded. So you're not gonna really wanna drive these in the summer and spring, I don't think. Little, that right there is the worst on this side. And you can see, it's not, nothing through. I'm gonna break another piece right off. Nothing through, it's just wasn't prepped correctly right there. Little bubble starting there. And besides that, this right here, and then along the bottom, on the piece that goes that's below the doors, there's a couple places where the paint's chipped off, and you see the original yellow chip at the front here. A couple more stickers. And they weren't covering anything up, they were being cool. We're trying to. Something along the lines. Beautiful maroon. Chip in the paint there. Scratch in the paint there. Chip. Now I'm going to also... Wow, look at that. There's a couple cracks in the paint and stuff. But that piece, look at that. It's just in great shape. You don't catch them like this anymore. You don't. How about the other side? I want to look. No. Man, it's perfect almost. Stuff starting in the paint. But they just didn't prep it 100% correctly. Uh, a little bit of overspray. Of some sort. They did use a K200 type primer on it or something. Yellow primer. Chip. Grill looks great. That bug guard, I don't know, man. That's a personal choice. It's a couple choices. Leave it like it is if you're a fan, maybe. Um, pick off the stripes, which, or the lettering, which will easily happen. I'm just not going to start doing it in case you want it on there. Or take the whole damn bug guard off. Um, hood emblem. Looks great. Hood ornament, whatever you want to call it. Not exactly great the way they painted it across it there. A little chip behind it. A couple of places they didn't really fill anything. They should have. Chip. A little paint damage. That chip will get a little bit bigger over time. Um, it's the kind of thing you just drive the heck out of. Now trim. Um, this piece is broken here. I mean, it's there. You can kind of fix it. Dent there, I didn't notice. Some corrosionary stuff starting just slightly. A little scuff, scuff. Ding. Chip around that. And there might be a few more chips I didn't get along this. You can see that there. I paint this whole wheel well black. Just kind of fill it in. A um, little scratch in the trim there. And little miscellaneous scratches and scuffs. Like that's the worst of it right there. Going along this trim. That one's got a little rattle to it. But it's there. Just one of the clips is loose maybe. Around the window. Looks great. Not all leaky or nothing. These windows all look in great condition. As far as chips go, I'm just gonna say there's gotta be a little chip somewhere in this window. 
but I don't see it. And I'll look more when we're doing the test drive type thing on it. Ah, uh, this little discoloring there, you can maybe polish all this out. It's in great shape, look at all that trim. So much trim, has it got it all? I think it's got it all on this side. Now there might be a little ding or, like there's some chips here, I don't know if I showed, but they're there. Um, I think I showed everything. Oh, right there. Bottom of the door. I dare start it now, it's not through or nothing. It's just that paint coming right off. And I'll show you on a bigger angle. It's just got some moisture on it. And that's that. It's sand it down and repaint it. Little bubble starting there. I think I showed you that one. She's out there opening the gate so we can do the test drive here in a minute. I'm gonna open this up. Wow, they painted inside there, I think. Some chips right there. Well, this looks good. Other than that, I'm gonna get to the interior of this car, wait for the sun to go down. I might do the test drive, and then do the interior. I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll be doing it. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, and hey, feel free to share this on a blog or a Facebook page or something where somebody likes these cars. Be the first to get it out there. I don't know. I love these old cars, and that's why I deal in them. Especially a wagon. It's getting rare to see this kind of stuff. And the day of the wagons, unfortunately, has passed us by. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. But it doesn't have to pass you by. You can get yours right here. Uh, interior coming up. Thanks for watching. We'll One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And this here is going to be the interior review of this beautiful 1978 Grand Marquis Wagon Colony Park Edition. I'm going to do a quick once around because it is a different time of night. And so you can see different things on the car in different ways. And I've already done the test drive video. So this is a nice car. If you're looking for a nice old car that looks really good that you could drive around and maybe repaint someday if you wanted to. I mean, I don't know. It would take an awful lot for me to have to repaint it. I'd kind of save them little spots on it real quick and drive as is. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's your once around. And with that, we're going to go ahead and show you the interior. Door panels. They look great on this car. I can see a little piece of tape on the bottom. So we taped up because that seal here is missing. And it was probably trying to connect it, but if a piece of that is missing. Um, overspray on the door jams. The bottom too. This stuff is a little getting dated, as I said. Seats, absolutely beautiful. Not all ripped and torn up in any way, shape, or form, however. There's a little tear there and a couple little pieces starting. It's absolutely beautiful, great shape. It's still real pliable. The backs are awesome. I'm pretty sure it's all original, because that's your Mercury or Colony Park or some kind of stinking thing of an emblem embossed in there. Same thing, it's in the wheel. Hope that didn't fade too much. The wheel's in good shape. It's got a couple cracks here. This laminate usually all strips apart. Uh, it's in good shape, a couple cracks down there. Pedal wear is in good shape. Kick piece is good, the carpet's good, it's got some stains in it. We didn't shampoo it or nothing. I'm sure to clean up nicer. I don't know the miles, I think it really is 77, um, according to the motor and all. Did I show you the motor? I just took pictures of it. I don't think I showed it to you. Headliner is splitting right there, and it's came down in a few spots, and we actually took it the rest of the way down in the back. Um, I'm gonna continue around the back, though. Show you the back seat. I really don't know if you're gonna find anything wrong with the back seats. A little speck there. They don't even look like they've been sat in. Wish I'd have learned how to take that down. I'll bet you it's on the other side. Oh, I see it. Oh, I need to, um... let's get the window down and do that. 
<coughs> show you the rest of the interior. Like I say, all these door panels are in great shape. This could be shined out, polished up. I didn't do anything like that to it. You can see the blemishes. Um, the carpet's overlaying there a bit. The factory carpeting, it just needs to be put underneath that piece. That's all it is. That's exactly what it is. That piece comes up and done deal. This should be a simple push it down and lay her down. Beautiful. Light works up there. It's got some nice Sony Explode. Looks like the tweeters broke on that one. We'll look up close in a second. Almost around to the front. This has been pretty quick. What's that? We're locked out. Hmm, I don't like that. Let's see here. Oh, that works. Not a very big catch for it. Carpeting is missing on the bottom side over here. I believe that's the only one it is. Beautiful thing. It looks great. Here's the aftermarket floor mat in it. Kick panel mat right down there is in great shape. Got it on the passenger and the driver. Look at the size of that glove box. <laughs> There's my arm. I don't know if you can see that. Ride engineered. Don't know what all that means. Extra bulbs and stuff. Hey, that's cool. Little bin thing there. Um, this vehicle requires, requires vehicle maintenance schedule A. Actually, there's some notes there. Aftermarket gages. I'm not going to try the door locks until I'm inside of it. How's that? Okay, I thought I might have showed this because I had done the pictures. But look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This car has had some work done to it lately. Um, upkeep, maintenance, you can see no tape on it. All the plugs and stuff there. And plugs. Threads. It's in great shape. I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket or something somewhere. I showed you on the back. That water pump's been replaced recently. Something like this, they've all been replaced, right? Have to have been. This is a cool little um, engine kill type thing. Um, when I drove it for about 15 minutes, it did the old womp, womp. When I started it. So, you know. AC belt is on. We'll see if that holds a charge. It's wrapped around it and it's not tied on to nothing. So, wherever this plugs into, it's not plugged into. So, I'm going to say that the AC likely doesn't work. Although it seems to all be there. Look at how beautiful. Cruise control and everything. And it's in great shape. The car, look at that factory. I hope it's factory. I think it is. It looks all factory. But I just seen that fan shroud. Man, nice. Okay. And you see it hasn't been painted under the hood and everything, and the hood insulation is missing. Um, the light bulb is missing, and this isn't wired or anything. Looks like they didn't finish a couple things. It looks like there is only one of these missing when they yanked the liner off if even that was missing opens and closes and shuts all nicely okay I'm gonna go ahead and ride back to the shop with you and show you it there again for the heck of it just because we're here actually I was gonna do that hang on now let's do that at the shop there taking down the tailgate showing 77 I don't doubt it She said it leaked tranny fluid. I'll tell you what, I couldn't get it to leak any. So, that was the deal with that. I just couldn't get it to replicate that. It did do a couple trips of oil. That's about it. Now I'm gonna have to sit here because I am not gonna fight what's coming there. Just give you a close up of the beautiful mountains. As we 
hit the road. And I'm only a little bit down from my shop here. That um, needle takes a little while to pop up there. That's what she might have felt right there. It kind of bogged down a little and it didn't want to go. It seemed more electrical type of... Not electrical, I mean that little breather box that's on it. It didn't seem like it was a training issue. It was a training seems to go. So for my short experience, this car seems to run great with a little leak. It's about the worst I can say about it. Uh, I am not going to attempt my <laughs> Let's see if that does a 40 again. If it goes just fine, man. I'm sure you're gonna do something to this car. It is not perfect. But, God, it runs good. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. Almost missed the second set. Okay, we'll leave this bad boy kind of sprawled out. Look at that Lincoln Town car up there. It's a nice car. I'm going to back this up a little bit. Some gauges like right now. Okay, let's do a quick test on this one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. A little bit of a glitch in that switch, maybe. Not really. It did it the second time just fine. It'd be fast, too. That one's a little slow going down. If you don't hold it down, it won't go down. That one's not moving. So they could use some lubing on that. The mirrors work, I know that. Let's try that AC out, why don't we? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna take the window down with the switch and you can see it going down. There we go. I'm gonna leave that go for a second while we uh, go down the back. I got a couple old Mercedes that things, just old parts car. Okay, let's see here. Open from the inside. Okay, hang this around my neck. Sorry, I'm gonna have to look at that for a second. Pulls down just fine. Wow, is this locked? I think that's locked. This AC is not blowing cold. Kind of cool, but it's kind of cool out. Not, this car does not smell that it has been smoked in. Let's check the ashtray. It doesn't look to have been smoked in. Do that. They work really good. Pop these lights on. High beams. God. I don't know where you can hear that best at. Let's turn this off for a second. See if it gives me the womp womp. There you go. So it could be getting the solenoid a little warm. Something to that effect. Let's show you this again as we say goodbye in a way. The battery could die. Oh, the car. On the camera. Eagles are barking at him. Like, look out, bud. All the lights are good. And yes, I do see now that that tweeter has popped out of the center of there. Hang on. Of course, 
that one's not. If you want a new set of speakers, just talk to Samantha when you're doing your car deal and I'll hook you up cheap. I do not know, do not know, do not know. I don't think this is the right key for this. It's not. It ain't turning. Well, there could be literal gold bars in there. And I'm going to have to just say, sorry, but I don't know what's in there. It ain't even the spare. Oh, it's a third row seat. That's right. Spares in here. And this piece has popped out a little bit because the spare is too big. So it's got too big of a spare. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to try something else. Hang on a sec. There's a mirror going up, or mirror, window going up from the key motor. I can't open it on the swing door, but it does. I just can't get the switch to work. Also, that piece along the side right there is broken. Okay, that was your interior. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Call me anytime. Got to get these lights off. One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And I'm going to do a quick little walk around. It's almost a different light. This is going to be the test drive. I'm going to squeeze it in in between the exterior and interior. Just because my sunshine is different right here. And not only that, I'm not used to doing it in Montana in comparison. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful up there. I'm not used to doing this in Montana for the last four years or five years. Um, so it's different timing. Things pretty straight going on the side. Pretty darn straight. That's all there is to say about it. And we're gonna just cop in and go down the road. Now this car has a leaky rear main seal. And so, what that means is the rear main seal leaks. I'm about 99% sure that's what it is. And it just leaks the fluid out. And they ran it through auction, ran fine and all that. By the time we got about halfway home, it stopped wanting to go to, it started feeling a little bit different of wanting to go to third when you like speed up from a little, you gotta slow down to 45 when you come into a town here. And when that happened, well, she got out and looked and it was leaking fluid. Shut the thing off and called AAA. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. You've probably already seen it by this time. Even though I haven't filmed it, it's hard for me to remember that you probably seen it. Okay, well, watch this. Okay, there's your shifter. This is high tech. This needs to be addressed. This needs to be fixed. Back in the day, the way I am, I'd have drove this forever. But it should be fixed. Fires up like a champ. Runs awesome. Extracurricular gauges. We're gonna take this thing down the road. And see, it does okay for just driving at first. And if he's driving around town, you probably never know. Now it's got tranny fluid in it, just not really enough to really do it. And I'm not gonna do anything but go up to the next little exit thing here where I can show you that it drives. She says at 40 or so. Gears, downshift and everything. Now I could tell you that I could sell this thing act like it drives right because this granny. Same beautiful day. My camera got too hot to film. This thing drives nice. Pretty good, so I don't know. 
Uh, I would want to check that out. There's my place. Man, it's driving good. Samantha had to have it brought home because she said it was leaking fluid. And she said it was training fluid. A little bell squeal up there or something, maybe? God, this thing drives nice. I think that the speedometer is totally off though. Because 50. Unless this guy is going 50. No, man. I mean, I'm gaining on it like crazy. It's a big old car. And that 460 powers it. How's the brakes? Brakes are good. I didn't touch them that much. Okay, I'm gonna turn around somewhere here. Should have been right there. The walking trail. I think they extended it all the way from Hamilton to Missoula in the valley here. Well, I'm just. I don't know what she ran into as far as an issue, but I'm just not having it. I'm just not. I have no clue where I can turn here. I bet you I can turn right here. There's got to be a place to turn around. And of course, I'm going to pass. No, I'm not, because I got super good brakes. Just like that, buddy. Okay, well, with the police coming behind me? I hope not, but it looked like it. No. Black hood on Dodge Caliber. Would that give me a... A little bit of a scare. Man, it goes through all three. And now shifts this fine. We'll see about that speedometer right here because I'll be catching up to this guy now. I don't think there's no way I'm gonna get it up to 70. That's 60, and I feel like I'm going 75. I actually have no clue. I'm not. It might be 70. I'm not getting on it that much. That much, I said. Am I gaining on him? We'll see here. I'm going to keep going. Just for a while to see how this test drive does. shakes a little bit. I'm not holding on to it with both hands, but the wheel does shake a little bit. 65, cruising down the road. It's becoming apparent I'm gaining on the black truck. It's my place again. But besides gaining on the black truck, the other guys I'm not gaining on as much. He could just be a slow poker. No. No, there are, um, there are a couple people. I'm letting off a little bit. That's down to 60. I'm still passing these guys. So it's off by like five miles an hour or so, I think. I'm gonna find out when I get back on the road. I'm gonna pull out in front of some people by a good bit and then let them pass me. Now this is my third test run here and I haven't felt any slippage or anything like that whatsoever in the tranny. But it does have a rear main seal leak, um, supposedly. I'm going by what Samantha told me. Samantha, she runs my office up here and we stopped by the auction in town to see what they have time to time. Lo and behold, they had this. This thing drives nice, man. This thing can spin them tires if you want to. Okay. Now there's a car coming, so I wanna time this. To where I'm out in front of him and going by the time he catches me, hopefully. Okay, we're right there. We're just gonna let this thing go. He's gaining, as he well should. We're at 40. Turn. 
that doesn't really help. I just get in a car like this and I would hate to tell somebody it's all dead on. I'm going to go farther again. This has been one of my longest test drives. The fastest one for sure. I don't know if it's that much off. It sure has to be, I don't know. I was getting on that guy like crazy. Historic point. Good point to turn around possibly. Well, that was a bummer of a test. The ancient cultural landscape. We'll give you a close-up for the heck of it. Actually, there's that. Uh, there's that. And there's that. You might have to pause it, but we're gonna get out and look underneath this thing. It's idling just a bit higher than it should possibly. I don't know about that, but it could be. Oh. Small leaf, you can see it right there. Go back up to see what it is. I just like to be 100% thorough on these. And honestly, I like that better than a gear shifter. God, these mountains are beautiful up here. Look at that. Give you the close up. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know why she thought the tranny was slipping. Maybe it was just low. That's oil. This car runs and drives good. Maybe it was just a little low. Maybe it does leak and I didn't know it. How's this? The car has a leak back there. All the fluids are good right now, but you've seen it dripping while it's set here, and you can see slight smoke. Now, let's pop the hood and see. Maybe this is just a fluke type of a valve cover gasket leaking from the back. I highly doubt it, but I mean, I'm going, here's my thing. I ain't gonna get in this and drive it and see it runs good and sell it as good running if I know somebody I know had a problem with it. There is a bit of a little something there maybe. Let's look from underneath. This camera's gonna overheat again. Right there. Let's just say it runs and drives but needs a gasket. I mean, I'll bet as long as you kept the fluids going, you keep the car going. But how good of a thing that is is a whole different question. Thanks for watching. I will go ahead and take this back to the office there, but I'll let you know I might die on the way. Well, now, my camera might die on the way. I ain't going to be able to get up to no speed beforehand. But we'll be able to get through a shift or two. <laughs> this thing drives so smooth. She could have ran the thing out of gas. Like seriously. If you hit the brakes good and hard, it'll shake just a little bit in the front rumble strips there, man. Brrr. Okay, well that's your test drive and all. I got all kinds of Trans Ams. Look at the little quail. There has to be more. He has to be the lookout. Beagles will get him. Little quail went bye-bye. He told everybody, no, no, go back. Go back when C came.
Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get out and give you a proper goodbye. And then we'll do the interior a little later. Well, you've already seen it by now, huh? Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. <laughs> this is a nice car.